pretty crazy. Old Tormer Tway, the trees uh, fall down. Welcome to the third round of World Rally Race Championship. This time held in mainly Portugal and partially in Spain. Now, let's switch sand and dunes for gravel and mud in this five-stage rally. And now let's go. We just finished the, the, first, the first day here in, in Portugal. We had a prologue in stage one. So uh, the prologue went, went, uh, went okay. It was a very, very rutted, uh, but it went, went okay. We had a lot of time to wait in between prologue and stage one. The stage one, it was, uh, yeah, the conditions in Portugal is something I'm really not used to. It was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, it was very muddy, wet and slippery. Uh, with the T1 is, is really nice because there's a windshield and there was a lot of mud so I stayed dry <laughs> compared to in the, in the buggy so that was very nice. I was trying to be careful in the second part because it was really slippery and very narrow. We try for the first time to walk differently. For the first time I let her go as she wants without taking care of uh, Roxy, that, 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 that. And uh, that's a big improvement. And I'm, I'm happy because she did it from the first kilometers. So it's, a, it's already a big step. We have like, just on the top of a uh, summit, it was not on roadbook, and many of the cars just uh, jump. And we jump, but uh, maybe 20 centimeters more on the left side of the car, and we got the trees. So we just uh, push the trees, but the trees uh, fall down. Sorry. I just hope uh, someone will use it to make a fire, but uh, uh, damage probably the car, only plastic. I think it was a, a good learning today, and uh, yeah, looking forward for, for the second day tomorrow. <laughs> Tierra, is, she's in a bridge. Coming. Not the right. and go. Okay. The second stage here in Portugal went, was going, was going pretty okay. And uh, then later on on the stage, we start to lose slowly the um, oil pressure. Yeah, keep going, but we'll have the grip here. And uh, we uh, were searching a little bit what can be the problem. And uh, at the moment, the oil pressure arrived to zero and uh, the engine uh, was not running properly. Okay. Engine's gone? Yeah, engine's gone. We were exactly in the middle of a big mud uh, tank. So then we got stuck in a, in a mud. So uh, we were there for a long time and uh, it was a pretty tricky place with a lot of mud so we were there for a while just helping other cars who got stuck in the mud so it was a pretty pretty eventful. Unfortunately we weren't able to, to finish the stage. We will see. I just hope we can restart tomorrow.
Zkoušeli jsme ještě jaký, všechny možné možnosti, že jsme tomu sami nechtěli uvěřit. Takže jsme uh, laborovali s datama, se vším, co by se dalo, aby to nevypadalo tak blbě, jak to vypadá. Ale je to definitivní, ten motor je totálně v háji, takže balíme a po druhý steči jedeme domů. So that's the end of the 11 month run. Uh, 15,000 k's later, um, multiple events, uh, including the, uh, the grueling 24 Dakar, and we eventually have a stop. So uh, yeah, a loss of oil pressure today during the stage, which uh, ended the stage and ended what has been an incredible run. Uh, Aliera uh, and Sebastian have been, uh, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful, but it's time to regroup now as a, as a partnership and uh, to start the next run. Ale super, bylo to tady hrozně těžký, jezdil se v lese, kdy to bylo opravdu ouský na zrcátka, že co jsem se tady bavil třeba s té trojkama, které jsou daleko menší auta, říkali, že vůbec nechápou, jak s velkými autama tam můžou jezdit, takže myslím si, pro jezdce je to výborný trénink na to zvládnout tohle auto v takhle nekomfortní zóně. And going to spa for for the next phase of the GT4 endurance season. A part of that, I have to say, Alia and Seb they did incredible job, getting better and better with each kilometer. With Seb, they're growing together towards a good future, and uh, I'm really excited. Whole team is is working perfectly fine, I would say. And with that, we are going home. Now it's on us to replace the engine, and see you next time. <laughs>